Hello. In this presentation, I'm going to show you the best way to access your SharePoint data from your favorite BI tools like Power BI, SSRS, or others. First of all, why do we want to report on SharePoint data? Well, nowadays, a very large amount of corporate, of corporate data is stored across SharePoint site and subsites. Companies don't use SharePoint anymore just to create a portal for a department or a shared document library, but they also use it to store actual business data, like customers' information, sales data, or shipping details. And in order to have a full picture of your organization, you must be able to perform your BI and data analytics across the entirety of your data. Unfortunately, connecting to SharePoint to, to extract all this data is not very easy, and uh, it's also got uh, a lot of limitations. So what if, instead, you could have your SharePoint data available as a set of SQL tables, and you could use actual SQL to query this data rather than having to connect to SharePoint directly. And so when you want to create a chart in Power BI or, or report in SSRS, you can connect to SQL tables rather than to SharePoint. And that is where actual SQL list comes in. So how does SQL list work? SQL list is a service that connects to a SharePoint site and a SQL database and uh, it keeps the tables in the SQL database in sync with the data from the list in SharePoint, so that any change made in SharePoint is automatically reflected in the SQL tables. At that point, you can use SharePoint to maintain your data, but you can query this data directly from SQL. I'm going to give you a demo of SQL list and in this demo, I'm going to show you how I can export a few lists from SharePoint. I'm going to use Power BI to generate a chart uh, on these lists. I'm going to show you how changes made in SharePoint are automatically reflected in the chart in Power BI. And I'm also going to show you some additional advantages that this approach gives you. So let's start uh, the demo. So I'm going to use a, a SharePoint online site for this demo, and I'm going to export three lists. One list is this one, product, and this is a simple products list. One thing to uh, note in here is that each product belongs to a category, and this category is a single lookup to a categories list, which is here. This is the categories list, again, a simple uh, table, a simple list, and each category belongs to a category group. And here we have the category groups list. The goal of this demo is to create a chart in Power BI that shows the total of unit price and current stock of the products grouped by category groups. As a database, I am going to use a local installation of SQL over here. This is a database called Demo and it's currently empty. So let's go and uh, fire up SQL list. When you open SQL list, you use the UI, which we call the SQL list manager, to create what we call the replications. To create the replication, you need to configure a SharePoint connection to the site and a database connection to your database that I have already done in order to save some time. So let's go and create the replication. First thing, we select the SharePoint site we want to export from, and which is the portal, the one we just looked at. Next, I choose the type of replication I want to perform. SQL list uh, supports two types of replications, but for this demo, I'm just gonna go with the classic one. And uh, so I'll leave the default option selected. Next step is to, sele to select the lists that I want to export. Over here, I can browse the entire hierarchy of my SharePoint site and select exactly what I want to export. So I will expand the lists of the portal site and select the ones that we saw earlier. Categories, category groups, and products. Next, I select the destination database. And finally, 
I give this replication a name, so I'm going to call it demo1, and finish. Now, secret list, we start the service. There we go. And it will start synchronizing the data to the SQL database. We can keep an eye on what it's doing in this log viewer here. So let's give it a few seconds. We can see that now it is synchronizing our three lists. We can now switch over to the SQL database, click refresh, and we can see that a number of tables have been created. Some are, are system tables, so we can ignore them. The ones that we are interested in are here, which are category groups, categories, and products. To show you what they contain, I have here some SQL that I prepared earlier. I only selected the columns that we are interested in for this demo. And when I execute it, I can see, you can see over here that I have the category groups are here, up here. I have the categories with the ID of their category groups. And I have the products here with the ID of the category they belong to, the unit price and the current stock. From now on, SQL list will keep this data in sync. So we can go here and close this UI. Okay, let's go to Power BI and let's create our chart. The first thing is to bring in the three tables in BI. So over here, I have my uh, connection to the demo database. I select. And here we have the tables. And so I'm gonna pick category, category groups, and products. Load them into the model. I'm going to use direct query. And here they come. So the next things to do is to tell Power BI how these tables are connected. So I'm going to just set up the relationships, category group with category group, and then category ID with categories over here. And that is done. OK, all that is left now is create our chart. So I'm going to create a very simple bar chart. And uh, over here, I select the category groups title as a label. And for values, I'm going to get the total of current stock and the total of unit price. There we go. We have our chart. The data for this chart comes from the SQL tables that are kept in sync in by SQL list. So any change now made to SharePoint will automatically be reflected in this chart. For example, Let's take a look at these construction tools here. You can see that the unit price is just over 3,000 pounds, almost 4,000 actually. If we now go into construction tools, we go into products, and we can see that this light duty hammer belongs to the additional tools, which in turn belongs to the construction tools. If we now edit the light duty hammer, and I'm going to take the price down a notch from 2000 to 199 pounds and save. OK, the SharePoint, the, the change is done in SharePoint here. Now, with SQL is running in the background, if we go back to our chart, we refresh our data. And we can see that the construction tool total has gone down from the changes made in SharePoint. The fact that of having the data in uh, SQL tables uh, brings also some additional advantages. For example, at the moment, we are importing three tables into the model. But what if instead we go into the SQL database and we create a view, which I have here ready, that does the totals on the server directly? So that then when we import the data, we can just import the result. At this point, we can go into the Power BI. We can delete the current queries. I'm going to delete this one. Delete this one. And delete this one. OK. And now I'm going into my data source. And instead of importing the three tables and having to create the relationships, I can simply import the view. So I load this one, which is much quicker 
because it, it connects only to one table and it imports only three row data. And uh, I'm going to create my chart. And here I have my values, select the values. And here I have my chart again, but reading the data directly from the view. And the advantage of this approach is that you move all the heavy query from the client here in Power BI to the SQL Server. So you have much better performance. Another advantage is that you could go in the SQL database and create a number of views and assign permissions to these views so that only certain users can, can see certain type of data. So you would have full control of the access to the data in the database. So to conclude, why use SQL list? Well, first of all, with SQL list, you can access your SharePoint data from SQL rather than connecting directly to SharePoint. So you have none of the limitations that the direct connections have. Virtually all BI tools support SQL uh, tables as, as data sources, from Power BI all the way to Microsoft Access or Microsoft Excel. You can also merge the SharePoint data with data from our systems, and that would give you a full picture across all the data in your organization. You can move heavy queries from the client into the SQL Server, and you can also create views and permission so that you have control on which data you want to expose to whom. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, please go to our website on, at actionwords.com and you can download the trial or you can book a demo of SQL list. And for any information, please contact us at info at actionwords.com.